Hello everyone, Sen here. Today we're going to be starting a new series on how to make a top-down 2D game with SDL and C. So first things first, we're going to head to the SDL website and we are going to download the SDL3. As you can see here, it's still on preview, but it will maintain compatibility until release, so there won't be any breaking changes. So we can start developing with it. We're going to download um, the SDL3 devil for MinW. The zip file, I'm, I already have it, so put that up here. And we are also going to set up GCC with MinW. The GCC is a C compiler, and this is the one we're going to be using for this tutorial series. So, we're also going to use Visual Studio Code, but you can use Visual Studio or any other editor, as long as you have a C compiler. So, to install MinW, we're going to use uh, MSYS2. And here's a download link. You'll have uh, this website on the description, so you can follow along. You would click here and it's going to start a download. I already have it too, so let's open it up. We click next. And it's going to ask us for a directory where we want to install MSYS2. Um, you can select any directory that you want, but the most important thing is that you remember where you're saving the installation because we're going to need that later you would click next in my case it's going to error because i already have the installation on that folder so i'm going to quit it but um, it's going to install and when it finishes there's going to be uh, a checkbox that says that says run mcs2 now and you'll have to check that checkbox and click finish when you do that it's going to open this uh, terminal and you'll have to copy this command from here and paste it here. You'll have to do it with uh, the right click because Ctrl B and Ctrl Shift B don't work here. Uh, it's going to prompt you to um, with this and you just have to hit enter and then type uh, capital Y and hit enter again to proceed with the installation. Once it has installed, we need to do one more thing in the terminal. We're going to write this pacman dash s make. Um, yeah, it says that we're reinstalling and that's okay. We type capital Y. Oh. Not working. I can type. That's weird. No. Yep. And then we can close the terminal. Okay. Now we need to add um, the bin folder from our installation to our path, so we can use all the utilities it installed in from anywhere in our pc so to do that we're going to go into the windows search bar and type m um we click here well yeah i didn't say it. you would click here edit the system environment variables and same here environment variables here we will go into the user variables and search for path we double click it it's going to come up with this your list may be different from this but it doesn't matter. <clears throat> what we need to do is find, find our bin folder. And to do that, we have to go into the path where we have our MCS installation. As you can see, mine is on disk C and in the folder MC64. And inside of this folder, you have to find the folder called UCRT64. Here, you're going to search for the bin folder and now you're inside of the bin folder you see we have um 
many utilities that we are going to be using throughout the tutorial and you just have to copy the path you can do it by clicking here top copy and then come here and click new this is going to create a new entry in our path variable and we're just going to paste it here and then click ok i'm going to delete it because i already have it here as you can see so you hit ok ok and now you can use any of the utilities that we installed from any terminal in your pc so now i could just do um for example gcc that's the compiler we're going to be using b and as you can see it works so that's great we already have um mc's uh i mean wgcc working but we need to do one more thing before we go to vs code and that's copying um the files that we have over here you remember we downloaded from the sdl github this folder and we have two folders we have this one for 32 bits and this one for 64 bits I'm going to go with the 64 bits um, installation. Um, here you have four folders bin, where you have a DLL uh, of SDL, then the include folder that contains the header files for SDL. We have many uh, header files here. Oh, yeah. Then we have the lib folder that has um, some. Um, files to link our application with SDL and then the share folder. Here you have the license for SDL. You can read it if you if you want. And what we're going to do with these four folders is just go again into our MC's folder. Again, UCRT64. And as you can see, the folders are the same. Oh. These folders are the same as the ones here. Yeah, my windows kind of died. I don't know why, but whatever. Yeah, no, no, okay, great. We can just drag from the set into the folder and it's going to copy the contents. As you will see, it tells me that if, if I want to replace the files, that's because I already copied them before, but these won't go mumbled for you. So I'm going to skip it, but you won't have any of these issues. And once we have done that, we can jump into VS Code. Now we can jump into VS Code and start configuring VS Code. So we can open a folder, folder, anywhere, just here, a folder called VL Game. We select it and we open it. And we have whatever. Yeah, trust me. <laughs> so now we need to install the C and C++ extension for PS Code to have linting and formatting and some other uh, auto completion. So we would have to go into the extensions tab. You will probably have it here, over here. You can click and go into the extensions. But if you don't, you can just uh, hit Ctrl Shift X and it's going to take you there. So now what we have to do is search for the extension. Just type C the C plus plus and it's going to come up. It's this one by Microsoft. And you have to install it. And it's probably prompt you to restart. You are gonna restart. And after you restart, we have to do one more thing before we can start developing, and that's uh configuring the path for the extension so you can do that by uh, hitting ctrl shift p to open the command palette and as you can see here this is the option we have to search but it's probably not going to be up here for you so you can just type right, c c plus plus edit conf and it's gonna be this one the one that says ui you open it and then over here you can see i already have a compiler path if you don't, you have to configure it. We do that by either oh, I'm gonna delete it by either clicking here and coming up here to gcc.exe 
if it's there and if this if this option doesn't come up to you we will search for the path um, manually so how do we do that we have to go into dmc's folder again and into ucrt64 bin and copy the path we can wait, wait, wait. No, oh, sorry. To just paste it here, and then another slash, and gcc dot exe. And once you've done that, we are ready to start developing in C. So now what we're going to do is create a make file that we are going to be using in the next episode. Um, for you, those of you who haven't used Makefile uh, Make before, uh, Makefile is just kind of a script that runs certain commands that we define, and this makes our life easier because there's going to be commands that get quite complex, and we don't want to be copying and pasting around all of these commands every time we want to compile our program. So I'm going to start by um, creating the first command, let's call it build. And so you can see how make works. We're going to using an example command, the example command of dir. In Windows, we have the dir command. What this command does, you'll see here, dir. It's just showing what's inside of the directory. So um, what uh, make does is that now that we've defined build, if we run make build, it would um it's going to <clears throat> run the command there um yeah sorry about that we're not going to be using make we're going to be using link w32 make you have to have the .exe but now if i run link w32 make build as you can see the command there was run because we set it here and if we have there twice it's going to run twice so what this means is that um every new every new line is a new command if you want to define a different command you would just come here and without indentation call a new command let's say run and this command does something different like we could have the, this command uh, calls gcc just by itself which is going to error out because we don't give any arguments to the command but just so you can see how this works we're going to do it right yeah gcc gcc for fatal error no input types it's okay so now that we know this we're going to set up the commands that we're going to be using so for the build command um let me create first a folder called source and the file that we're going to be using so main.c and then a folder called out perfect now we can go again into the make file so our command to compile is going to be gcc the input file called main.c and the output file it's going to be um, inside of the out folder and we are going to call it uh, sdlg.exe and we also need to do one more thing and that's um, linking our sdl um, linking sdl to our program so we are going to do that by just typing l let me turn this off for a second yeah lsdl3 and that would be it. and now this is going to compile our program when we run uh main the main w32 make and we hit build as you will see it gives me an error because we don't have anything on there but that's okay we're gonna be doing that on the next episode and then we're going to define define another command called run and this command is going to uh, run our program.
so we know that our program is going to be on sdlgame.exe so this uh, notation just typing the path to an executable is going to execute the executable this is the equivalent of just double clicking a program and we're going to also have a third command that runs both of these commands and how do we do this in make it's pretty easy to do that we just type the name of the commands and it's going to run them if we have defined these commands already on make we can just type the names here and it's going to run first this and all the commands that are inside of build and then the same for run and there's just one more thing that we need to know and that's that on make if you don't if you run make without any arguments if we run make value without any arguments it's going to run the first command uh, that it finds so in this case the first command is compile so it's going to first run build and then run run when we don't input any arguments if we do give it the argument of build it's going to just use this command and if we instead do run it's going to run the command of executing the program but as it doesn't exist yet it gives me another error so now we have um, a working make file and we have a main c file where we are going to start going on the next episode and creating a window